Hello again YouTube. I am back for another episode of Hidden Artifacts Channel. Today is something a little bit special to me. I have decided to explore my old family farm. Uh, and when I say old, it goes back to the 1800s. Uh, unfortunately, the farm isn't here anymore. Uh, this land was sold to the uh, state uh, for use for hunting and, and fishing and things like that. Um, and they decided to bulldoze the house and the barns and everything along with it. I do have a lot of old historical photos of the uh, farm though, so I am going to uh, put those in the video at some point uh, just to show you guys what it looked like. Uh, I really wish I had an idea of what the you know layout of the property looked like because it's almost impossible to say where anything is. It's so overgrown. It's a little bit rainy today, uh, not too much that I can't detect, uh, and it is very, very, very overgrown around here. Um, one area that I am 100% sure is uh, the intentionally planted um, trees and, and, and shrubs is, is actually right where I'm standing. Um, and you can see that because the trees behind me are, are planted in straight lines. Uh, and we've got some, some shrubs over this way that are, are kind of staged. So I'm going to explore this area for sure. I've already found a couple little things, mostly just some iron artifacts, um, some stuff, tacked trees barbed wire, things like that. Um, there's also a foundation uh, over this way that uh, clearly was a garage at some point. Um, so I will uh, take a look around and see what I find. I, I would love to find something of, of my family's history here. Uh, hopes are low, <laughs> I'll be honest. Uh, it's been so long that there's been anything here and you know they weren't they weren't very, very wealthy people but you never know. Uh, maybe the kids drop something and I can uh, find something like that. So let's start the adventure. Here we go. All right, got a pretty strong hit right under the base of this pine tree. Unfortunately, I think I see it already. And it is right here. It's like a piece of old barbed wire. Nothing too special, unfortunately. Okay, I just came on something pretty large. It is really big. I'm getting all kinds of crazy tones from it. So, let's find it together. I don't think I'll need my pointer for this because it's right under the surface. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> Giant piece of old pipe. Well, there you go. Who knows what that was for? Piece of farm equipment or part of the house and I just spied this as well. Old strap. Okay, right next to that pipe, I got another hit. zipper. The old YKK. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Even out here in the middle of nowhere, curse of the pull tab. So here's something I did not expect. I was clearing some of the uh, stop. I was clearing some of the uh, undergrowth 
for this hit and I noticed a patch of green. I thought it was moss. No, it's, it's green shag carpeting. There's people hunting out here, by the way. How crazy is that? Green shag carpeting. I mean, it must have been from the house. Anyways, got something down here. So we'll do a little live dig, see what we get. Here it is. Foil. Found a lot of foil around here, which is really strange. Oh well. Now I uh, pulled these two boards out from the ground. Um, they clearly were from the house. It's it's plywood. You can see some old red paint on there. So it was either from the barn or the house. I'm not entirely sure. But under the board, we got a hit. So we'll do another live dig. See what we can come up with. like a really old can top. One of those you used to have to unwind. Kind of cool. Denshu cream. Pull tab after pull tab after pull tab. It just doesn't stop. <laughs> I've pulled up probably 13 pull tabs at this point. I don't get it. Found some what appears to be old structure from the house. It's directly next to this gigantic lilac bush. Uh, and that's what drew me over here because almost always these are planted by people. Uh, found even more pull tabs, some garbage. Unfortunately, nothing of significance. Well, it's a good thing I was watching where I was going because I, I found the well. <laughs> and it's a good three to four feet down. So I am very thankful that I saw that before I stepped over there. Uh, definitely got to be careful when doing this kind of stuff. You never know what you're going to stumble upon. Here's the old garage. I think I've got a picture of this somewhere uh, when it was still standing. You can see the foundation here just barely. And the floor is cement on the inside. I went in there to try to dig and didn't get very far because only about two inches down it's it's poured cement. So there's my car. Uh, this is where you first pull in. The house used to be right behind that big mass of trees there. Uh, that's where the garage is at over here. And then this is the gate to get through to the uh, public land. Um, they do a lot of hunting around here for deer and birds and all kinds of stuff. Foxes and turkeys and quail. Um, and then down here is where the barns apparently used to be. Right over in this area, down the hill. But uh, there's no way I'm going down there. The, the weeds are way too thick down there. Might find some cool stuff, but it's just not worth it. I've already gotten beat up enough as it is. <laughs> All right, the, uh, the hunt has come to an end. It is starting to rain, as you can see. 
Uh, this is just some of the stuff that I decided to kind of collect and throw on this old fallen tree. Um, got some culver glass. Look that up really quick. Uh, I think it's from the 50s. The old denture cream. Lots and lots and lots of uh, little pieces of iron. A little fastener and the zipper. Uh, I think this is from a pair of overalls. That's what it appears like to me. I'm probably going to keep that. Um, the shotgun shell just fell off of the tree. There it is. I'm going to keep this as well. I looked this up and I had a chance to clean it off. It's a Peters HV high velocity 16 gauge. Uh, and apparently these were pretty expensive and pretty ornate for their day. Um, it's from the 1910s to 1920s, so definitely going to keep that one. I love these old shotgun shells. And then a thousand pull tabs, which were just infuriating. Somebody was a drinker for sure. <laughs> oh, and the pipe. Yeah, the big red pipe, which I have no clue. With. I mean, it's got to be from a piece of farm equipment or something. They were farmers here. So... Thank you guys for uh, joining me on my journey. The old farmstead. Found the well, found the foundation. Unfortunately, it's just it's just totally gone at this point. There's nothing. And the weeds are so thick that even if I wanted to find something, I, I probably couldn't. But it was still fun. I loved it. Great times. I was hoping to find some something valuable or something personal, but oh well. Maybe later. It's not going to go anywhere. I can always come back. Maybe when the weeds are a little bit less. Thanks guys for watching, I appreciate it. Until next time, this is the Hidden Artifacts channel, signing off. Keep digging guys. While I'm down this way, I figured I'd make a trip to the family graveyard. Um, this is a old German graveyard for uh, the immigrants that came here in the mid to late 1800s. Uh, the grave site of note is actually my ancestor, Casper. Um, this is the original headstone, it's in German, and his wife and uh, some family member at some point put up a replacement headstone. Apparently I have part ownership of this graveyard, which is kind of interesting. It's a fun fact to tell people that technically I own a graveyard. <laughs>